It's big and burly, it's got a massive engine, and it's as American as it can get. And I think you have an idea of what I'm talking about. If you thought Ford Endeavor, you thought right. The Endeavor just got a facelift and a bunch of features added. But does it make it any better? Well, we make answering that question a whole lot easier by telling you five things that work for the Endeavor and two things that don't. When you talk SUVs, it's got to have power, right? And the Endeavor has it by the bucket loads. I mean, just hear these numbers out. Almost 3,200 cc's, five cylinders, 197 bhp and a mammoth 470 nm of torque. Now these numbers also make it the most powerful SUV in its segment. And it feels it too. Flooring the throttle, the Endeavour just sits on its haunches and charges ahead. And even feathering the throttle, it canters along effortlessly. Serious mile munch of this. With the amount of travel the Endeavour suspension has, it feels like nothing can upset it. Going on really bad sections of roads, or even where roads do not exist, the ND smothers almost everything in its path. Yes, it does kick up its rear if you fail to spot a speed breaker, but other than that, it's brilliant. Even on winding roads, the turn-ins into corners isn't exactly slow, and for a big body on lighter SUV, riding on high-profile tires, it's quite impressive. Now the Endeavour might have this executive air about it, and even more so in this new diffuse silver paint shade. But make no mistake, this is a serious off-roader. The 3.2 comes with terrain management system as standard. It has three specific off-road modes, barring the auto mode. In sand mode, throttle response is more direct, and ESP allows more slip. In snow or mud, the throttle response is standard, but the ESP is more alert. And in rock mode, the throttle response is dull, while 4x4 low allows for higher torque multiplication in lower gears to improve tractability over rocky terrains. This, along with high ground clearance and excellent approach and departure angles, gives the Endeavour some serious off-road credibility. Ford has updated the infotainment system and it now gets this 8-inch screen, which is the highlight here. Now boasting Sync 3, the screen resolution looks good, touch response is immediate, and the sound quality for the system is outstanding. In terms of features, all the prerequisites are there. It gets various media inputs, there's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, there's inbuilt navigation, and it doubles up as the reversing camera screen as well. The Endeavour comes loaded with a long list of important and handy features. It now gets a start-stop button, hands-free power liftgate, semi-auto park assist, three-zone climate control system, auto headlamps and wipers, and the very smart noise cancellation feature. Safety is covered well too. ABS along with EBDs are given, but you also get hill launch assist, tire pressure monitoring system, and hill descent control. At sedate cruising speeds, the Endeavour is pretty silent. But give it a footful of gas, and the engine suddenly becomes loud. It whooshes and whines, and the cacophony continues till the throttle usage becomes steady. Big engine, a sapping torque converter gearbox, and almost 2.4 tons of weight to haul. Fuel efficiency is bound to take a hit at 7 km per litre in the city and 10.9 km per litre on the highways, the Endeavour isn't the most fuel-efficient SUV out there, for sure. The Endeavour then is the ideal vehicle for the big family that doesn't mind getting adventurous. It looks imposing, it's capable both on and off the road and comes well spec too. Yes, there are a few hiccups, but then overall it makes for a compelling package. We hope you liked the video. If you did, 
make sure you like, share and subscribe to the Carwale channel.